Well, look, you talk about that in your book. This is it. Eileen Atkins, Will She Do? Act One of A Life on Stage. It's out now. And, I mean, how do you describe the book, Eileen? Uh, well, I think I can describe it very easily because, you know, you and I have a great friend, Miriam Margulies. Oh, lovely Miriam, I yes. Mean, yeah. And she's just had a wonderful book out. <clears throat> and my book is very, very... I, I mean, my book is very like Miriam's, except that I'm not gay, I'm not Jewish, <laughs> and I don't do that charity work of giving blowjobs to men. <laughs> <laughs> so my book is a hundred pages short. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good summation. <laughs> Well, yes, that's, uh, that's on the back. <laughs> <laughs> but you, in the book, in the book, you, you describe a, a childhood in the Second World War, and it's so... <laughs> <laughs> My sister Bev is watching this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you describe a, a, a childhood during the Second World War, and it was extraordinary because your father Sounds like an extraordinary man. Well, my father was told... Uh, I was five when the war started, and my father was told by some neighbour, I miss Atkins, you don't have to look like Adolf. You could really pass for Adolf. <laughs> and my father always wanted to perform. So... I mean, nobody else would have done it, but he... <laughs> Uh, got the little moustache <laughs> and he slicked his hair down and he was a, a meter reader an, an electric meter reader so he had a uniform <laughs> he had the full thing and um, he did it so well that one day he was reading a meter in Hackney and he uh, came back home and he said um, well I had quite a day today um, reading the meter big woman in Hackney pushed me from behind into the cupboard, locked the door, got the police in, said she'd got Adolf disguised <laughs> in the <an> interview. <laughs> and he was proud of it. He was totally proud of it.